Good morning. Uh, welcome to Science Subject for Grade 4. Our lesson for today is the characteristic of different types of soil. I am your teacher for today, Mrs. Laila C. Perolina of Borol ES. Okay, let's start. The earth is composed of three parts, namely soil, water, and air. With the interaction of the sun as the main source of energy on earth. Soil is a very important natural resource on earth made up of tiny particles of rocks and decayed plants and animals. It also contains water and some gases found at the uppermost layer. Soil cover most of the land part of the earth. You find plants, animals, and other organisms on the soil. We live on the soil and it helps us in many ways. Different types, types of soil have different physical characteristics. Each soil types deeper in color, texture, odor, and its ability to hold water. Some soil are good for planting, while others are not. The presence of the different kinds of vegetative plants and clays is an evidence of good quality of soil in the area or locality. Sometimes, a combination of soil is observed in some areas of the country. Soil has different types. They are the following. Clay, loom, and sand. Clay is a soil with particles packed together. It is sticky when wet and has the finest texture. Number two is loom. It is a mixture of sand and clay. It contains large amount of decaying plants and animals. It has fine texture. Number three is sand. It is a soil with coarse and loose particles. Our soils and beaches, rice fields, gardens, and in your backyards are the same? Why or why not? The activity that you are going to perform will help you define what soil is and identify the different types of soil based on their physical characteristic. Now, let us go on learning task number one. We are going to prepare the material listed below, you may ask the help of your parents, guardians, or any adult members of the family if needed. The title of this activity is, Can You Identify Me? And uh, here are the materials. Soil samples such as loom, clay, and sand. Three plastic cups of the same size, shape, and color. Three popsicle stick on any alternative. Three plastic spoon. Three sheets of used band paper. Hand shovel and trowel. Permanent marker. A pair of globes. If not available, bare hands will do, but be sure to wash your hands thoroughly after the experiment. Let us see the procedure. Okay. Handle the materials with care, especially the sharp objects. And the reminder, as the assistance of adult members in your family, to collect three samples of soil in your community. Number one, 
Place each sample of soils on separate cups or container. Two, label each sample with A, B, and C. Number three, scoop at least two tablespoons of soil from each sample. Four, place each sample on a se separate bond paper. Five, look closer to each sample and use the popsicle stick to observe it. And the last one is number six, write your observation using the table below. Okay, the table are the following. Soil characteristics. So on the first column, it is the type of soil. The second column is the color. The third column is the texture. And the last column is the odor. Now, I have here some question. Number one, what common characteristic did you observe on your samples? Two, do the samples have the same color, texture, and odor? Why do you think so? What do you think, number three, is the type of soil that you observe? And the last one, number four, define soil based on your observation. Now that you are familiar with the soil, is and its types and characteristic in the succeeding activity, you will clearly investigate the effects of soil types on the growth of mongo seeds and identify factors that affect the growth of mongo seeds. Let us go on learning task number two. Prepare the materials listed below. You may ask the help or, of your parents guardians of any adult member of the family if needed. Here is the title of the activity. What do I need in order to grow? Here are the, uh, here are the materials. One, six tablespoons of pre-soaked mongo seeds. Next, Six pieces of clear plastic cups with tiny holes at the bottom. Next, six pieces of popsicle stick. And then, two sets of one cup each of three types of soil samples. Chart, marker, clear plastic roller, one foot inch. And the last one, two cups tap water. Let us see the procedure. Number one, place six clear plastic cups of the same size. Two, place equal amount of soil in each cup. Prepare two cups per type of soil according to the illustration. Each cup will contain one tablespoon of seeds and will be watered during the activity. Three, place equal amount of soil in each cup. Prepare two cups per type of soil according to the illustration. Each cup will contain one table of seeds and will be watered during the activity. There, uh, there is the set up A and another is the Set up B, as you can see in the illustration. Four, soak five pre-soaked mongo seed overnight in each cup. Five, sprinkle one tablespoon of tap water in each cup. Six, place set up A inside the house. Do not expose them to sunlight. Seven, Place set up B outside the house where they are exposed to sunlight. And the last one, A, observe the setup for the next two days. Now, 
There is a table below. Use the table to record your observation, observation. As you can see, table number one. There is the setup type of soil observation from day one, day two, to day three without sunlight and B with sunlight. For table number two, you are going to observe the plant carefully without touching or moving it. Number two, record the number of leaves that comes out every day and measure the height of the plants from the root to tip using a transparent ruler in centimeter. Number three, observe the color of the leaves. And number four, record all your observation. Table number two, Validate if days of observation can produce the expected result. So there is the setup, types of soil, observation from day 1, day 2, and day 3. You are going to count the number of leaves, the height, the color of leaves, the number of leaves, height again, in centimeter, color of leaves. Number of leaves, height in centimeter, color of leaves, up to day three. Uh, with uh, those are you are going to record without sunlight. That is for letter A and for letter B with sunlight. Here are the following question: And which cup and set up did the seed sprouts first? Why is this so? Number two. In which cup and set up did the seed sprout the last? Why is this so? 3. In which cup did the mango seeds grow best? Why? And the last one, number 4. What does the activity shows? Now let us go on learning task number 3. Read each item carefully. Choose the letter of your answer. Number one, which type of soil is characterized as having the finest particles holding greater amount of water? A. Loom B. Clay C. Sand Number two, which type of soil is best for planting? A. Loom B. Clay C. Sand Number three, how does each soil types differ? A. Texture B. Color C. Both A and B Number 4. Which type of soil do you usually expect if the community is along the seashore? A. Loam B. Clay C. Sand And number 5. Why is soil important to living things? A. Forms part of the earth where animals live. B. Provides the necessary nutrients needed by plants. C. Serve as place where people live. And D. All of the above. Now, I have her personal assessment on learner's level, uh, level uh, of performance. Using the symbol below, choose one best describe your experience in working on each given task. Draw in the column for level of performance. Be guided by the description below. I was able to do, perform the task without any difficulty. The task helped me in understanding the target content lesson. I was able to do perform the task. It was quite challenging, but it still helped me in understanding the target, the content of the lesson. I was not able to do perform the task. It was extremely difficult. I need additional enrichment activities. To be able to do perform this task. 
the table are uh, the ta uh, I I have here the table. First column is learning task number one and number two. The next column is the level of performance. Next, learning task number three and four. And then level performance. Up to learning task five, six, number seven, and eight. Okay. Is that clear? So that's all our lesson for today. Thank you and keep safe always. Bye-bye.